Yo guys, before this video starts, please make sure to like and subscribe, and if you're already subscribed, then why don't you just check to see if you click that bell, because it really means a lot to me. And also, thank you so much for 4,000 subscribers, I really appreciate it, and with that out of the way, let's get into the video. Yo, how's it going guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about what the best clicking method for Minecraft PvP is. So before this video starts, I just want to say this is obviously my opinion, so if you don't agree that's perfectly okay, you can just let me know in the comments section. I'll try and respond and tell you what my opinions are as well. Over this video, I'll be going over four of the most common clicking methods, which are normal clicking, butterfly clicking, jitter clicking, and drag clicking. For all of these methods, I'll be showing you exactly how to do them and what they look like in-game. So to start off, we're going to do normal clicking. Normal clicking is the most common clicking method in Minecraft PvP. It's usually used by beginners, however there are still some very good PvPers out there who still use normal clicking. Stimpy would be a really good example for this, he's still able to get relatively high CPS just from normal clicking. So when you're normal clicking you should avoid flattening out your finger. As you can see right here, I'm flattening out my finger on the mouse and I'm getting a relatively low amount of CPS. However, if you curve your finger and bring it towards the top of the mouse, you'll find that you're getting much more CPS than last time. Normal clicking is definitely the best method for aiming, so using it as a beginner method would be a really good idea because it will help you get used to how to aim properly. I think because Rob PvP games are more about movement and strategy, normal clicking is much better. Because of normal clicking's low CPS, I think it wouldn't be the best method to use in bedwars. This is because when you have lower CPS, you take more knockback. The only time I'd really use normal clicking in bedwars would be with a knockback stick. This is so I can get perfect aim because I don't need to deal damage to the other player. Overall, I think this method is good for aim, but CPS isn't that high. Jitter clicking is a very common method of clicking and was really popular when Minecraft PvP was starting to peak. In order to jitter click, you must put your finger on top of your mouse button and vibrate your arm or hand on the button. This is usually able to get around 11 to 13 CPS, which is much higher than the regular clicking method. Although this method gets much more CPS than the last one, it still comes with lots of disadvantages. For example, most people who jitter click will experience some pain in their arm or hand after a long period of time. Now there are some methods which can reduce this pain, but it doesn't usually go away completely. The pain makes it much harder to click fast, and therefore you lower in CPS. In short 1v1s, jitter clicking is much better than it is in long games like Bed Wars, because you can jitter click for a shorter period of time. Another issue of jitter clicking is that it's extremely difficult to aim because you're vibrating your finger on a mouse button, which can cause the mouse to shake. A good way to avoid this is by gripping your mouse sides of your thumb or pinky finger, as shown here. But this still causes this mouse to be slightly shaky. Most people who jitter click will use low sensitivity in order to reduce the shaking. As for mice, I don't think any specific mouse is needed in order to jitter click, so long as the mouse doesn't have a CPS cap. Try to find a mouse which you can easily grip onto. Personally, I used to use jitter clicking as a main clicking method, and it wasn't that bad. However, the substitute that I have now, which I'll get into later, is much better. So overall, I would say jitter clicking isn't really worth it. There are some servers which ban butterfly clicking, and I think jitter clicking is a pretty good substitute to that, but on high of bed wars, it isn't very helpful. Unless you have Parkinson's disease, I really wouldn't use this method. Butterfly clicking is probably the second most common clicking method in PvP. This is a clicking method which I use every single time I queue into a game. Butterfly clicking can reach up to 23 CPS, However, you'll need to find a mouse that can double click in order to reach this. One of the most famous mice which is used for butterfly clicking would be the Glorious Model O. The Glorious Model O has a toggleable debounce time, and it goes for about £50 where I am, so that's around $70. There are probably some cheaper substitutes, but I think it's a really good mouse for grip as well. And without a double clicking mouse, you can get up to 13 CPS, which is pretty much the same as jitter clicking. So in order to butterfly click, you'll need to put both your index finger and your middle finger on the left click button. And once you've done this, you need to swing them up and down. As soon as your index finger hits the left click button, you should click with your middle finger, and as soon as your middle finger hits the left click button, you should click with your index finger. A lot of people tend to butterfly click like this, so the problem here is that they have both their fingers way too scrunched up. In order to butterfly click, I would stretch out both fingers as much as possible towards the end of the mouse. This can help a lot if you have large fingers, and it allows you to get more double clicks. If you do have big fingers and it's becoming a problem, I'd recommend trying to get a bigger mouse, or trying to aim your fingers towards the edges of the left click button. I've been butterfly clicking for around 2 years now, and I've never had a problem with my aim. However, if you do have a problem with your aim, you should make sure that you're gripping your mouse from the side like when jitter clicking, and maybe try putting weight on your mouse with your palm. Some people also say that they get tired fingers from butterfly clicking, which will probably happen if you haven't done it enough and your muscles aren't used to it. So the way you can get around this is just by practicing more. This method is also really good for bed walls because it allows you to take less knockback and get some crazy combos on the other players. So with that out of the way, we'll get on to the last clicking method. Drag clicking is quite uncommon among new players, However, it's becoming a serious skill among Bedwars sweats. As of 2020, drag clicking has become increasingly popular, and of all the clicking methods on this list, drag clicking will be the highest CPS. Because of its extremely high CPS, level clicking mouse is required in order to get the maximum CPS. With high debounce time, drag clicking is ultimately useless. Aiming whilst drag clicking is a very difficult skill to master, because if the mouse moves while drag clicking, it can mess up the clicks. And as for PvP, using this method for fighting is pretty bad. This is because drag clicking is done in bursts, 
which means that your opponent has a chance to land hits on you when you reach the end of your mouse. You need to have a good mouse to drag click. I wouldn't recommend the Model O because it isn't really designed for drag clicking. However, if you do have a Model O, you can put some razor grip tape on it and make drag clicking easier. Mice like the bloody A70 are very good for drag clicking because you can drastically lower the debounce time even below 2ms. When drag clicking, you should be very careful because Hypixel has had a history of banning drag clickers because of them being mistaken for auto clickers. I will try to keep below 30 CPS when drag clicking. So when you're drag clicking, you should try to avoid applying too much pressure to your mouse button and drag your finger from the top to the end of your mouse. Despite the fact that drag clicking is bad for PvP, it can still be very useful in Bed Wars. One of the best uses for drag clicking is to perform extensions. An extension is when you place multiple blocks in a row in one clutch. This can save you from falling in the void and sometimes even prevent you from losing the game. Drag clicking can also be used for gob bridging, which is one of the fastest bridging methods. Gob bridging is a bit risky, but some people have mastered it into consistency. So there are lots of other clicking methods which I haven't went through yet, such as bolt clicking, but I think they're either really useless or really unused. But now I'm going to answer the title of this video and decide which clicking method is the best for Minecraft PvP. So if I were to rank them from worst to best, I'd put the worst one as jitter clicking, because although it gets high CPS, the aim is really bad and some clicking methods can get even more CPS. Then I'll put drag clicking because it's great for extensions and clutching, but you can't use it for 1v1s. And then obviously it's normal clicking because normal clicking is just really good for beginners. So that leaves the best clicking method as butterfly clicking. Now some of you would have already known the answer to this question before you even clicked on my video if you watch some of my streams, because I use this method all the time. I've even been able to pull off some extensions solely from butterfly clicking. Because of how easy it is to aim and how much possible CPS you can get from it, it makes it the best clicking method for PvP. The only downside is that you have to buy a good mouse. Yo, what's up? Yo, what's up? Yo, what are you doing? What are you doing? You need, you need to reach 8 minutes watch time. Quick, quick, what are you doing? What are you doing? What, what? Okay, then. I, I, listen, right, guys. This, this video is literally 1 minute of 8 minutes watch time. Right? You, you, you understand this? Do you understand? This is, this is really important. Okay, somehow I'm gonna have to stool 1 entire minute of, of people watching the video. If any, I, I gotta make sure no one clicks off right now, okay? This, 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 this is really important. Hold, hold on a second. Hold on. I'm, I'm not even organized. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Wait, wait, wait. wait. The, the, the volume's too loud of, of, the, of, the, of the desktop audio. Hold on, hold on. All right, all right. All right, all right. I'm, I'm not even organized, man. Give, give me a second. All right, what, what are we doing? We're playing Sky Wars. This, is even, this isn't even relevant to the entire video. N none, none of this is relevant, all right. I, I just, I just gotta reach. I gotta, I gotta reach eight minute watch time. Okay. I, I don't even care about. I don't even care about the relevance of the video, man. This, this, this is important, all right. If I don't reach eight minute watch time, I could potentially lose like half of my entire profit. All right, here we go. Here we go. We're playing Sky Wars. This is, this is gonna go so well. Playing Sky Wars. Hold on. Um, I, I, am I speaking too close to my microphone? Probably no. Didn't do an audio test before this either. You, you got an Among Us skin. That's, that's cool. 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 All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do remember to like and subscribe if you're new because this video took literally forever to make. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.